Welcome back to yet new video of Unbox Tech Things. Today we are going to look where we will get free royalty free video footage. Many HD amazing video is booming up especially online but what do you do if you're not really sure how to create quality video yourself? You don't even really have to do it. The good news is there are a lot of stock video and a few websites out there where you can find quality footage. But the bad news is a lot of these sites are not wallet friendly. So today we are going to talk about 7 free sources for royalty free video. Now these sites offer footage under the Creative Commons Zero License. Also known as public domain or a similar license that offers the same freedom. So what this means? Is it free or some hidden cost? You can use the footage however you want not both in personal and commercial projects. Or projects you actually get paid and you don't have to pay any kind of registration fee you don't have to pay license fees. You don't have to pay royalties. It's basically completely free and you don't have to include attribution unless you want. So let's get started with our number one which is Pixels. Why Pixels make our number one in list? Pixels is a video collector. Meaning they go to other video sites and they pull videos and put them all in one place. So this is a really handy option. If you don't have time or if you want to get quickly. Pixel offers you without having to go to a bunch of different sites. You can browse Pixels using categories. Food, city, nights, water, drink etc. So next on number 2 is Pixabay. Pixabay is a stock photo illustration video etc site. There's a lot of stuff there making it really good. You know go and get it type the resource or plenty. I personally find really easy to use there's a big search bar. Categories you can see. The different users who submit video.so this could be handy if you can use somebody's video and you really like their style. And you want to work with or like them in future. You could reach out to them know about them and opinions to know future projects. Number 3 is Distill. Distill brings 10 new videos every 10 days. Basically what this means is people are submitting video content and then a team over at Distill's looking each one of it. Finding the best you know, going through it and then pushing that out every 10 days. So it's a really unique and a nice service. Especially if you have a project that's pretty demanding in terms of you know getting fresh content every week or so. Now number 4 is Cover. Cover was originally created for web designers. Who wanted to use videos as their website background or headers so a lot of the video is blurred because text is a lot easier to read over a blurred background. But there's still a lot of great footage there's no search functionality there probably the more cumbersome unique about cover is they create new or they share new video every 7 days. Here there are no tags or categories so you have to stick through everything to find what you need. A Lot of unique quality content is there a lot of good video footage you will never get easily. Now coming to number 5 is the life of vids. Now the life of vids kind of takes little bit more so it's a really unique because it has many tags and categories big search bar so you can search for stock videos and nice service. Especially if you have a project that's pretty demanding something like industry or manufacturing. I personally find it really simple, really easy to use there's a big search bar categories you can see users can also submit their videos and a section for photography and quotes which is unique to this. So coming to number 6 is the Vidivo. Now the Vidivo kind of takes the share in terms of sheer volume of video footage they offer. Last time when I looked, content goes somewhere between 4000 to 5500 videos which is huge I'm a bit crazy and wonder how they get these stunning clips. They also offer motion graphics or animations which is handy the other sites which I mentioned don't do that. You can search videos inventory with the big night search bar they also have categories and tags so it's really easy to use as. But you have to create an account this is free and painless but it's necessary and number next thing is you have be careful because some of the videos use the Davis standard license. Which is a lot like Creative Commons Zero you don't have to pay anything nor you don't credit anybody. But some of them are Creative Commons and what that means you can still use it however you want make money off of it. But you you have to credit the original creator of the footage so just keep that in mind. Our seventh and final option on this list is Pond5. Which is 7th in our list, Pond5 isn't free. If you're familiar with stock websites really at all you've probably heard of Pond5. It's paid content most part but they do have a public domain library, now about public domain stuff, when a video or photo or music whatever it's public domain because it's so old that the license the copyright has literally expired. You are right path of thinking, it's all about that you might have vision what the Pond5 domain library looks like. Um it's like black and white video there's some stuff of like a workers testing wheels of World War II airplane or something which is old it's kind of a little different so you may not find exactly what you need but if you're just looking for something a little old and vintage or use without any risk fear of copyright it's a good resource to check out. Thanks you for watching till the end. 
Hope you found this video useful if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment etc otherwise share to your friends if it useful. I will see you next time with best 5 whiteboard animation tools or software which you will find useful.